Hey everyone, it's me again, Black Swan, back again with another video, and this is going to be what I'm taking into 2019 video. There are a couple of things that I fell in love with during 2018 that I am not going to depart with anytime soon. And first things first, this is like one of my cheaper... I'm a cheap person, okay? I'm not going to lie. I like to splurge. Don't get me wrong. I do splurge. But for the most part, I'm not a all the time splurger. I like good deals. I like the feeling of getting a good buy. And this is one of my good buys. I got this at the Beauty Supply. I don't even know what this brand is. It just says H2K. And then it has this on it. I found this at the Beauty I'm talking about the Hood Beauty Supply. I'm not talking about Sally's or nothing like that. I'm talking about the Hood Beauty Supply where you can get... Um, Triple X t-shirts, do-rags, and box braid in here. And they had these glittery shoes. I don't care what anybody says. These right here are the best running errand shoes in the world. I like them. They look cute when I just slap them on. Cause you know, like, you can't tell where they're on my feet if they're, what price they are, what brand it is. Like, girl, bye. I'm just in here to get me some eggs and milk and be on my way. So I got these. These are $12. You, know, you can probably get them at like a flea market or something. But I'm taking these. I'm taking these into 2019. I don't care what y'all say. Me running around in my um, $12 slides. Don't care. Well, the next thing I'm taking into 2019 this is one of the things I did splurge on because I like to collect Starbucks cups. And it was this a Starbucks coffee cup. This is a ridiculous amount of drink. I know. There is no way ever on this earth I will ever drink this much coffee in one sitting. Never in my life. But I like to put water in here. I like to put um, protein drinks. Like, you can put other stuff in these cups, okay? So I know you're like, oh my gosh, you doing the most. No, like, there's nothing in here. This was about $20. It's $18.95, it says on the bottle, which I felt like, I, I really didn't care. This is this is the last one. So I was like, baby, get, let me go ahead and drop this little $20 bill and get me this cute Starbucks cup because like, it looks a lot more shinier in person. So when I'm walking around, I got my little cup and then I have all the Christmas cups too. So I really do love, love, love Starbucks cups. So I'm taking this with me. And then for that much money, she's not going nowhere. She's gonna have to shatter before I get rid of her. I do not care. She's coming with me into the new year. Next thing, my, this, Scent from Victoria's Secret is one of the best. I, girl, okay, so this is a 24 karat coconut um, body spray. Wait, let me see. Let me get the let me get the correct name for you. It's the Ice Coconut X Making an Entrance, and it is a scented mints. It, it says perfume. This is not a perfume. This is a body splash. I'm sorry. I worked at Macy's in the in the fragrance department. This is not a parfum. This is just body splash. Okay. It's just scented fragrance with a little bit of um alcohol in it. But girl, no, it but it really does stay on. So after I take a shower, um after I take my shower, I use um my like dove. I always use like dove um body wash, like the moisturizing kind. Then I put this on. I slather it all over my body, like everywhere, and then I spray this everywhere. Like, I, put, I go to my back and I spray it. I mean, I sp when that's everywhere, everywhere. So, this scent, it stay with me. I, used to, I like to trade scents a lot, but this one, it just goes with my body chemistry really, really good. And then people are always like, like, every time I go out with it, somebody says I smell good. So, I'm just like, hmm. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep wearing her because you know she she does a good job on my body chemistry. For some reason, she pokes out. Okay, the next thing I'm taking is or I have brought is my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This right now is um is a go-to. Like this right here really does take the fuss out of the when you spray mist on your face because sometimes when you're spraying it, it's just like 
like it's hitting you real hard that hard water like that and then sometimes like you know when like this part right here the little spray part it gets all clogged and then it like shoots at you like like a stream of water like that's not cute so this one right here the continuous mist i really like that and also it does a good job of holding your makeup in place i don't know if it's the setting powder that i'm putting on my face or this but the sasha setting powder and i put this on my makeup stays on very very well very very well throughout the day and like i said i don't like touching my makeup throughout the day like if it messes up it just messes up like i really i'm not the chick to sit there with a big mirror and be like okay let me get myself back together like in the middle of a restaurant i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna be sitting there with whatever i messed up throughout the day on my face because it don't be that serious to me it don't be that serious the next thing i'm taking in to 2019 with me is my makeup revolution strobe highlight i don't even know if you can see it but this highlight right here it's translucent look my camera can't even pick it up it's like a translucent let me see if i can swatch it yeah, let's see what I'm talking about. Don't mind my burn marks. This is from my wand and cooking. I have burn marks all over my arms. Like, I'm not abused. <laughs> I'm just clumsy. Okay. I'm just going to put this on. You can kind of see. It's a very nice iridescent. Oh, I got makeup on myself. Ignore that makeup, y'all. I did my makeup. I did a makeup video earlier today. Okay. So this is a really cute translucent color and it's a really nice chameleon because you can put it on by itself but i like this because anytime i have a highlight and i just need a little more oomph to make it pop a little more no matter what the skin hue this gets it together so like if i have a a, a really deep tone client like she's real i mean like ebony goddess i will put this on first and then I put a really deep, rich, golden highlight on top of this. And for some reason, it just gives it an extra like dimension and bam, like it it kick you in the face. Cause some of, some of the Ebony girls, you know, they wanna pop, but they don't wanna look chalky. So this is a way for me to give them that golden undertone without it giving me the chalk. And then I, like, I can step it up because not everybody wants subtle highlight. Some people, they want you to pile it on. They wanna be seen to the heavens so that's what I do to amp it up whether you're ebony or ivory I put this on the bottom and then I put whatever on top like a pink hueish um a pink tone highlight a golden tone highlight a shampoo it don't matter this this is a chameleon it goes with everything and it gets to that extra pop now the last thing I am going to talk about is because I want to go in detail because I really 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 really, really like this item and it's my new favorite handbag. I mentioned this handbag on my Insta story um, a good amount of weeks back. It's been a little while. I had to wear her out a little bit. And then I actually did a video, a what's in my bag video, and everything got deleted. Like everything like a makeup video my iCloud got deleted like period let me put it like that I was trying to clean out some things and I wind up deleting everything so this is one of the videos that got deleted but I am here to tell you about it right now this handbag right here is a Teddy Blake handbag google her honey google her so this is 100% genuine leather these handbags are handcrafted and this handbag And then also this color, I chose this color because she goes with a lot. She's also a chameleon. So this gray just blends in with everything. I mean, it's honey. And then on top of it, I don't like big bags because big bags get in the way. And then also they hurt my arms because I like to stuff my bags with everything. And then when I'm out with my family, my kids, my husband, they like to give me their stuff. So I always wind up being the, the meal for everybody's candy and drinks and change. I don't even know how it happens, but 
But this bag, I can tell them, nope, my bag's not big enough. Put that drink away. I'm, I'm not holding it, so I have an excuse. And then also, I can wear it as a cross body, and it just stays out of the way, like this. And then I reach over and I get whatever I need out. I can just hurry up and do my errands, and I don't have to be. Um, this handbag, the hardware on it is very cute. The silver, and then you know they put the feet on the bottom. Cause I know a lot of people who are like handbag enthusiasts. Uh, Y'all be looking for that. And also, and then also if you have a genuine leather bag, you do want feet on the bottom because you're trying to keep up the you want the you want the bag to keep its durability. You don't want it rubbing on everything. So the details like that really does help the long the longevity of your bag and then having feet on it. It is important. Okay? Because I had a Michael Kors bag and it was genuine leather. It was like one of the really nice ones that had the little Michael Kors right at the top, the real little one. You know the ones you get at the top top shelf at the store, like not the ones on the little table, the one at the top, it was one of them and it didn't have feet. And then probably about the second year, you could see the leather starting to wear on the outer corners. So that's why if you don't have a genuine leather bag or if you do have one, it doesn't have feet, this is why they add these to avoid the, the, the wear and tear at the bottom first. But a lot of y'all knew that anyway, but I'm just reiterating myself, okay. And the inside, let me, girl, let me take my trash out. Let me take out my Roadhouse gift card. My sister-in-law gave me this for Christmas. Thank you, Sally. She gave me that. So, um, I have, I have receipts. I have receipts in my shopping list in here. Cause you know we like, you know we like Target. Okay, okay. So that's that. And this is the inside of the handbag. It's a little dirty. Excuse me. I'm a regular person. I have messes. So, but the inside is really nice leather. It's really, really nice. It's nice suede. Uh, not leather. It's a nice suede, okay? And then you have two pockets on the inside. So you have this one that's like the free, like you can like drop change or if you have lipstick or a lip pencil, you just drop it in here. And then you actually have the security slot where it zips. So if you have like a loose card, like maybe you did, you don't have enough room to put your wallet and you need to take your debit card or your ID, you drop it in that, the, the little secured pocket and then you zip it and then you'll be good to go. So like I said, Teddy Blake, they make handcrafted jean leather handbags. They're based out of New York and I will put their information down below in the description box because they actually have snake skin purses too. So, um, and they have a red one. They have a really cute red purse that's so just like gag. So yeah, they are really good brand and I'm obviously not gonna do it enough justice. You just gonna have to look for it yourself. So yeah, those are my, what I'm taking to 2019, what I brought with me into 2019 items. And I am not, I didn't want to leave them. I can't leave them. So I hope you like this video and comment down below things that you weren't willing to give up in 2018. You brought along with you for 2019. I would like to know. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.